Hi, welcome to my tutorial on setting up a collectibles quest and interacting with an NPC. So this one here is just to show you how to set up collectibles so it only shows up once you begin the quest. So we'll have an NPC, um, this is Dojira. Most people put a asker on the actual Dojira itself. The only issue is when you talk to him you can walk away, come back, and it will be the same dialogue. There is no difference uh, when you come back to him after you complete the quest. You can either make him say nothing or the same dialogue, and that's not very appealing. So what we're going to do here is uh, get rid of the asker, get rid of the health, and we'll put a speaker on the uh, NPC, the quest giver. Get rid of the text, we're going to edit the logic, uh, we want it to look at the player, so when we press E, the quest giver looks at you. Uh, we can make it every one second that it's interactable. And when we do talk to it, we want to send a message talk.npc. Cool. Um, and now when we talk to the Dojira, nothing happens uh, except he looks at you and a message gets sent out. And that message is talk.npc. So we'll go ahead and put a numpad down, we'll select it, make it invisible and no collisions, and we'll go ahead and give it an asker. Get rid of the indicator, edit the logic, and we'll put that message in here, talk.npc, which is the doge, it says, can you, can you do a quest for me today? And you can say, sure. Uh, Having no is okay. Uh, you can have no here, but um, just make the player do the quest if it's that type of game. And you can say quest.1.start. Perfect. So go ahead and press tab. We'll press E. And now you can see we're still interacting with the Dojira and it's still saying stuff, uh, but it's not actually on the NPC itself. Cool. What's the advantage of that? Well, you can use a thing called a toggle behavior component. What that does is that, that can you can tell this behavior to be on or off at the start of the game or when a message is received. So initial behavior is true, which means when we go and talk to the Dojira, it's working. If we say false and we talk to the Dojira, Nothing's happening. Although the message is being sent, it is toggled off. So we can have a message to toggle it on. So um, I'll show you an example of that in a moment. But let's say we'll have it on. And when you say quest one start for sure. So we'll go to the rules, click on the quest, add quest. And we'll say collect, I will just say quest one for this example, uh, collect five eggs. And we don't want it to launch quest automatically. We want it to use this message here, quest.1.start. So when we say sure, a message gets sent out, which then tells the quest to begin. It will be a counter quest. Um, and that quest can be tagged with a Q1. And we want to collect some objects and we don't want it to auto complete or we can it's up to you um, and the message gets sent out when it is complete so uh, quest dot one dot done cool uh, I hesitated here because I have it saying can you do a quest for me today um, so what we can do here is duplicate this and we'll say here quest.1.info uh, so the message will get sent out to this one here so we'll say quest.1.info and uh, go and collect my eggs around the map and you go okay so what I've done here is when you talk to the NPC, 
it sends a message here, talk NPC, and it says, do you want to complete a quest? When you say sure, it sends a message quest.1.info. This next asker is listening for quest.1.info, which will then say what the mission is going to be. And when you say OK, it will begin that quest. Um, and that will also be on during the game. So let's go ahead and test that out. So can you do a quest for me today? Sure. Collect my eggs. OK. And you can see the quest is beginning. And it has a counter to go collect five eggs. Now we're going to go place those five eggs down. We'll go ahead and select the egg from the library. And we'll place one down. We will get rid of the asset spawner default. Add a component collectible. Edit the logic. On collision, it will collect the item. And we need to put the tag Q1. Because in our rules, we are collecting objects that have the tag Q1. And we need five of them. Now we have an issue, so if we go ahead and have five eggs on the map and you go ahead and collect them while you're doing something else and then you talk to the NPC um, and you've already collected those eggs, it's just going to get the quest beginning and then ending straight away and that's not what you want. Um, you don't want the quests to uh, disappear straight away and you don't want the items to be collectible until the quest begins. So that being said, we're going to put down a numpad. We're going to give it, um, get rid of all the default behaviors and give it a asset spawner. We don't want it to be visible and we don't want any collisions on this object. Uh, this offset is where the item will spawn. Uh, we'll just make that zero, zero, zero. So it spawns on top of the numpad um, and we want to spawn the alien egg. Let's edit the logic. We're going to go ahead and send this message when a quest begins. So if we go to our rules, check our quest, quest.1.start. So we go ahead and send that message out. And we don't need any behaviors, but we need that tag Q1. And we also need it to be collectible. So we go ahead and select that. And we'll go ahead and delete these eggs. And we can control D and duplicate this as many times as we need it for the quest. So we've got five here. So we've asked the player to collect it five times. Um, and also we want to disable these messages after it's been spoken to the Dojira. I'll give you an example. So we go ahead and collect it. There's our eggs. I'll just wait for the quest to begin so you can see it says zero. And we can go ahead and collect, say, half of them. Now, if we go and talk to the Dojira again, it's repeating the text. And when I click OK, it's respawning the eggs. So we don't want that to happen, right? Um, and then when we collected the eggs, he's still saying the same dialogue. So it's not very, um, it's not what we're after. So what we can do here is we can send a message to turn these off. And a way we can do that is when the last message quest.1.start gets sent, we'll go ahead and put another numpad down, give it a speaker component, and it's going to listen for the message quest.1.start. So we'll go ahead and put that in here. When we start the quest, we can say turn off talk dot one. So we'll go ahead and select both of these. Oop. I'll move this tree out of the way. And we can turn these off with that. So turn off talk one. So when we start the quest, it will turn off these dialogues, right? Um, and that way you can't trigger them anymore. But now when you talk to the Dojira, it's not sending a message to anything because these are turned off. So we're going to go Control D, bring this dialogue over here. This one's listening for talk.mpc, which is what the Dojira sends out. Uh, we want it to be off at the beginning of the game. And we want it to turn on when the others turn off. So 
we will turn it on when a message turn off talk one is sent which is what this speaker sends out and um, and we can have here uh, okay so this one here is now on while you're doing the quest so you can have the dojira saying have uh, have you found my eggs yet I really need them and you go still looking and it sends a message okay which does nothing um, which is great and then we can go ahead and click Control D we're duplicating this text again and the message will be the same when you talk to the Dojira but we don't want this to turn on with that message we want it to turn on when a quest is complete which is quest.1.done. So go ahead and do that. So that message gets sent out when we collect all five eggs. It will turn on this behavior, but we also want to turn off this behavior. Because we don't want this dialog, because we found the eggs. So when we find the eggs, the message that gets sent out turns this one off and turns this one on. And it goes, thank you for finding my eggs. I am really happy now. And then you can say, awesome. Uh, you can have this message start quest two or do something completely different. Um, so this is your choke point now to start a new quest chain or trigger something else with this. Um, so let's test this in action. Uh, we'll have no collisions, make that invisible. Um, all right, let's test it out. So we'll talk to the Dojira. It says we can do a quest. We'll collect a couple of these. We'll talk to the Dojira again. Have you found my eggs yet? I need it, really need them. Still looking. All right, cool. Let's collect the other two eggs. And now let's talk to the Dojira. It says, thank you for finding my eggs. I'm really happy. So you can see now the NPC looks at you, has different dialogue. It's more interactable um, and it feels progressive doing uh, methods like this. If you have any questions, send me a message on Discord. More than happy to help. But I hope this has been useful for you and your game creations. Have a great day.